Today we're tying a simple double bead stone fly on the Allen N201 nymph hook. We're also going to be splitting the beads between a colored brass bead and a dark tungsten ball bead. I've used a bit of weighted wire here to keep the beads from sliding to the back. I'm going to start my thread just behind the weighted wire and then work it back to just above the hook barb. Next, I'm going to tie in a piece of colored wire, which I'll use to segment the body. Since stone flies tend to have a slightly wider body, I'm going to allow the wire to slide to the side of the hook rather than on top. Now I'm going to take a small amount of dubbing to create a tiny bump at the rear of the hook. I'm using this bump to split the rubber leg tail of the fly. Now I'll add a bit more dubbing and then dub all the way up the body. I'll whip finish just behind the bead and then start my thread again right in between the beads. Now I'll add a set of rubber legs also in between the beads. Next, I'm going to bring my wire forward. Now I'm going to add a bit more dubbing right at the head of the fly and then whip finish. There, you have a simplified stone fly that's a great anchor pattern and eliminates the extra step of creating a shell back.